Two years ago, at a summer party in East London, a few web developers decided that the growing cluster of tech startups around Old Street Roundabout needed a nickname. They christened the area Silicon Roundabout, a phrase local geeks have since taken to their hearts. But what does Silicon Roundabout really mean to the residents of Shoreditch? Could you tell me where Silicon Roundabout is? I've never, I've never actually heard of it. Nope, never heard of it. Don't know what it is. No, there's a lot of media around here, but I don't know anything about Silicon Roundabout. Sorry. Okay. So if you haven't heard of it, this is Silicon Roundabout. It was coined as a jokey way of comparing London's tech startup scene with that of California's Silicon Valley. And it may not be the most glamorous location for entrepreneurship, but thanks to cheap rents, lots of bars and restaurants and a central location, London's tech companies are flooding to the Old Street area and now the effect is snowballing. One of the first tech companies to set up shop on the roundabout itself was Moo.com, which prints business cards from photos on social networking sites such as Flickr. I think what's super interesting about Shoreditch, uh, about Old Street, is they're all old factories. This is the, the symbol of a rich British tradition, an industry that has died out and has been repopulated with an, another industry, a digital industry. Also, no one wanted to be here. It just wasn't all that exciting. It's not in the city. It's certainly not in the West End. Um, so the area was attractive from a, the design of the buildings, the kind of, um, you know, the style of the area, and the fact that it's quite a, a mishmash of, you know, new buildings and some of these old industrial warehouses and stuff. And the fact that it was very cheap. Early stage investors are encouraging their portfolio companies to move to the Shoreditch area, hoping success spurs further success. Well, clusters are extremely important. We've seen that in many other parts of the, wor of the world. Silicon Valley, obviously, great example. The part of London that we're in right now, around the Old Street Roundabout, has proved to be a real magnet for technology companies. And these companies tend to work in a very informal way with one another in the same space. And it's that informal conversation that takes place over the water cooler, the, the coffee machine, that uh, is uh, energizing. Last November, Silicon Roundabout attracted the attention of the government, with David Cameron creating the East London Tech City Initiative, creating a community stretching from Old Street to the Olympic Village out in Stratford. Entrepreneurs such as Ian Hogarth of Songkick, a music community, see opportunities for the government to make a real difference to startups. I think um, the government's role in stimulating activity in, in East London's tech startups should mainly be an infrastructural role. So uh, the first obvious thing is if we had really amazing, you know, high caliber broadband wired through all of this part of London, it would make a big difference. Uh, another is the legality of getting amazing uh, technical talent to join your startup wherever they are in the world. So just making the visa process incredibly straightforward for, you know, a, a certain group of companies based out in East London would be a, be a huge asset, I think, for the UK tech scene. This model but some local entrepreneurs, such as TweetDex in Dodsworth, are skeptical about the tangible benefits of Mr Cameron's attempt to formalise the Silicon Roundabout scene. I think it feels a little bit artificial to try and layer something on top of this, this kind of natural, organic collection of people that have come together for financial reasons rather than anything else. Um, is there a huge amount of sharing going on? I mean, is there really that much of a startup Silicon Valley feel? Uh, I would kind of argue there isn't. This is a very cheap place to be. Yeah. Um, but would we like a nice office in Knightsbridge? Um, yes, we would. That would be very nice. East London might be the hot place to bring your tech startup today. It's early days, but the area is yet to produce a breakout company to rival Google or Facebook. And it's going to take more than a snappy catchphrase and good intentions from the government to boost Britain's tech community to the heights of Silicon Valley. Tim Bradshaw. Financial Times in East London.